I'm John Deers. I was born and raised in the Twin Cities area. Today I'm semi-retired and I'm a railroad historian. I have very strong personal recollections of the depot as a small child. I grew up in the 1940s. My grandfather worked for the Great Northern Railroad and I came down here many times with grandfather when he was taking a passenger train out on a run. This depot was built to replace an earlier structure dating from 1884 that burned to the ground in 1913 and also to accommodate the additional passenger traffic of that era. This depot is characteristic of other depots around the country that were built during the golden age of rail passenger travel around 1917 into the early 1920s. The depot is divided into three areas. At the front on 4th Street is the entrance, which leads directly to the ticket lobby where passengers could purchase their tickets, and also where there was a restaurant and a drugstore and various other shops. Next is the concourse area, which connected the ticket lobby to the main waiting room. Finally, there is the waiting room, which extended out over the tracks, and there were 21 tracks, which is where passengers waited for their trains and then went down to the track level to board them. Surrounding the waiting room is a frieze that traces the history of transportation from the ox cart to the steamboat to the passenger train, the steam locomotive, and the electric locomotive, which in the early 1920s was new. I'm delighted to see the renovation taking place because I have such fond memories of this space in my early childhood. It will be good to see the depot come back to its former grandeur, only this time as a bus transit hub, a light rail station, but also Amtrak.